Hello guys, welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. I'm Damar and this is Nikki. And today we have a special video for you. We're going to talk about what are some of the myths about medicine. So guys, stay tuned. So guys, my number one myth about medicine and being doctors and going to med school is that persons or people expect you to know everything guys doctors do not know everything there are so many different specialties in the field of medicine there's dermatologists there are surgeons there are anesthesiologists there are so many there are plastic surgeons there are orthodontic people everybody there are so many different things and specialties so we cannot know everything from every different specialty so yes guys we don't know everything so if we don't know something that you ask us don't kill us don't ridicule us don't tell your friends about it keep it between us okay <laughs> <laughs> so yeah all right so another myth and this is a big one guys a lot of persons assume that um, persons in the medical field they are arrogant and they have a bad attitude and they want them better than people and stuff like that. Um, that that is not true for everyone though there are persons who are like that you have other persons who are friendly just like us right who are down to earth people and they generally um, have like a nice personality and they are warm Right. So when you see me guys, call to me, me yeah. stay so. Yes. Call to me man, <laughs> yeah. yes. Right, so another myth that I always find funny is that older persons and even some young persons or some young people think that young doctors don't know anything. Guys, yeah. we literally just came out of the system. <laughs> we know the things. Than fresh. We're fresher than, but I'm not saying experience does not teach wisdom, but I'm saying, come on, it's in our head. We just did it. So we know the things. We know just as much. We need the practice. And if you don't want us to work on you, how are we going to get practice? Yes, call for supervision from another doctor, an elder doctor, if you so desire because it's your choice. But don't just chase us away. You're too young, me now. Why you touch me? No, guys, we're so nice and we know the things. Give us a chance! <laughs> <laughs> so a big assumption is that all doctors are rich. <laughs> Sorry guys, that's funny to me. Um, but you know doctors, they have student loans too. This tuition is very expensive. Um, they have a mortgage, they have families to take care of, they have other stuff to do, car loans, all of this. So it's not necessarily a get rich um, job and you have to work hard just like any other job um, to sustain yourself here yeah. so doctors are not all rich right, so when you see us on the road give us a thing to watch it <laughs> <laughs> right so another myth guys is that people think that all doctors prescribe are antibiotics and antibiotics are the cure for everything guys this is not the case there are patients who come to the hospital or come go to their doctor specifically for antibiotics so if they come with their symptoms and you say okay i'm going to give you a dpa no doctor mm -mm. no doctor mm -mm. and they think you don't know what you're doing if you don't prescribe an antibiotic so guys there is something called antibiotic resistance you guys can read up on that but we do not always prescribe antibiotics for everything there are other medications that helps or better than antibiotics for your condition every condition or illness is different and require different medication so antibiotics cannot treat everything please tell grandma at home <laughs> <laughs> All right, so another myth is that people believe that the brightest of the brightest goes to med school, right? This is not always the case. Of course, you have persons who are smart in med school, but not all smart persons will end up in med school. So that's a myth. It's basically you know, academic potential as well as availability of funds because med school is very expensive, so not everyone 
can afford it, but if you have money, they can always afford medicine, even if they don't have the academic potential. And that's the reality of it. Right. So another one, guys, is that doctors don't get sick. But guess what? Newsflash. We're humans too. With sick out and all these things just <laughs> the same. And we can't diagnose ourselves or just cure ourselves. We have to go to a professional doctor just like any other patient. Though they say doctors make the worst patient, we still have to go to the doctor to get a prescription, to go to the pharmacy, to get some medication to feel better. So we do get sick too, and we don't have the cure for ourselves or everything in the world. Another myth is that doctors, they don't respect time, they're always late, and stuff like that. <laughs> well, while this do occur, right, um, it's not because they don't respect time, but sometimes, you know, you have um, unforeseen circumstances, like a patient crash, like something happened, and then you have to spend like a great amount of time that you didn't expect to, and so you may be running. You may be running a bit late, but it's not that they don't respect time. Okay. So another myth, guys, that I take very personally and very seriously is that doctors don't respect nurses. So you see my serious face? That, guys, is not true. Put not in capital letters. We actually we love nurses. Nurses are like the butter to our bread. They're so important and there's so much respect that they should get and they need all the respect because they're doing so much work. Respect your nurses. Do not talk down to your nurses. When you go to the hospital and the doctors cannot assist you at the time, do not disrespect your nurse. Be respectful at all times. Nurses are very important and we love our nurses. With that said, I want to big up my nurse friend Jessica. <laughs> I want to big up my nurse friend Shanique, and I want to big up my nurse friend. All of my nice, clean nurse friend them, Elena and Frey Janice. Yeah. Right, just big up on yourself, yeah, nice, clean girls. Nice, yeah. Yes, big up on a nice, clean <laughs> self, yeah. All right. So another thing, or another myth, or the last myth that we're going to talk about today is that they believe that persons in medicine they don't have a social life this is very inaccurate um persons in medicine they enjoy their, their self just like any normal human we are normal people all right so we go to parties just the same and they believe that if you're a doctor you shouldn't wear this this kind of clothes belly or, skin and butt yeah. yes <laughs> you should bring yourself a certain way and stuff but we're normal people just the same so yeah, but we me. right, but we don't mix business with pleasure. So you won't see us behaving our jelly in, in the hospital. But when you see us in the party, you say, "Yeah, Nikki, <laughs> yeah, you're good." Yeah, I'm say, yeah, yeah, man, in here, and we just enjoy each other self. But when you see me tomorrow in a hospital don't or in a there. setting, they'll be like, "Missy, you, me, you know, yeah. Missy, you last." No, 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 me, me enjoy myself, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So that's it for today's video about myths in med school. If you have any other myth that you think is worthy, please drop it down in the comment section. And if you're new to our channel, please ensure that you subscribe. Please, we have a good one. All right, so that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, see, see you soon. soon. Bye. Bye.